the uh, our tax burden is now at a 70 year high and uh, Pretty Patel uh, who is of course desperate to get back into um, a cabinet position or possibly even uh, try and become the next leader of the Conservatives, the leader of the opposition. I think it's unlikely. Uh, she has said the tax burden is now at a 70 year high, this is unsustainable and the people that pay the taxes are hard pressed Brits around the country. She's quite right. Um, what we are facing is inflation, which means that uh, businesses are, are quite happy not to deliver the services they offer because they know there's many other people queuing up to get that service. This is why uh, presumably trains can uh, operate by selling the same ticket twice. Uh, this is why uh, and, 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 uh, and, and not flinch when a complaint is made because they know there's more demand um, for the few services they're actually offering. We are uh, in, 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 an, in an appalling position. It's not just the uh, pandemic which has put us in this position. Uh, it's certainly not just the Ukraine war. Uh, it's not just Liz Truss's um, uh, r ridiculous experiment with Kwasi Kwarteng's prodigious package. It, it may be a combination of all three. It may simply be the fact that we've had too many changes of office at the top and that this has spiralled down into a demonstration of indifference. Uh, it may be a, a global phenomenon and we are simply wreaking the, uh, um, getting the benefit of that. But it may also be, dare I say, a consequence of Brexit. And while other countries are manage, uh, in Europe managing to struggle back from the pandemic, are managed to, managing to keep their heads above water uh, despite the Ukraine crisis. We are rapidly drowning in our own ideology, which is being thumped out on the dispatch box by people like Suella Bravman and so on. Uh, the official figures uh, that show, show that economic growth is higher than was expected that they came out on Friday and uh, the quarterly statistics for the Office of National Statistics came out. The economy grew 0.3% in the first quarter of this year rather than the 0.1% which was expected. Um, and uh, Jeremy Hunt, who is not a man with a great deal of brain as far as I can see, said the best way to continue this is to, uh, to continue this growth is to stick to our plan to halve inflation this year with the IMF forecasting that we will grow more than Germany, France and Italy in the long term. Well, you know, uh, hopes are good, but hopes need to be set against that practical, um, practical support, and I don't see very much practical support.